let us understand edi that is electronic data interchange in this session we are going to understand the working process of edi that is how the edi system actually works and second one what are all the components of edi so these are the things that we are going to understand in this session generally a business organization consists of different types of business documents business documents like purchase order invoices inventory documents payment documents shipping details customs clearance details so in this way a business organization may consist of different types of documents and the business organization is supposed to exchange these documents maybe within the organization or with external agencies if we look at exchanging the business documents within the organization the documents may be exchanged among uh, various departments like production department finance department marketing department sales department in this way a business organization may exchange the documents among various departments within the same organization and when it comes to exchanging the business documents with external agencies maybe the business organization exchanges the business documents with the distributors logistics service providers or customers so in this way the business organization may exchange the documents among several departments within the same organization or maybe with external agencies to exchange uh, the business documents there are two ways or two methods are available one is exchanging the documents in a traditional document exchange system or another one modern one that is edi stands for electronic data interchange in this way there are two ways of exchanging the business documents are available let us understand what does it mean edi edi stands for electronic data interchange in which the business documents are exchanged in standard electronic format among various business partners such exchange of information happens automatically generally instantaneously without any human intervention and that to paperlessly so this is what is known as edi stands for electronic data interchange in which all the business documents are exchanged among the uh, various business partners automatically al almost instantaneously without any human intervention and paperlessly so that is the biggest advantage of uh, edi now let us understand how such edi works so the working process of edi system in this process in order to understand the working process of edi system let us assume two companies in between uh, uh, there lies exchange of business documents so there is one company sending company which sends the business documents and another is a receiving company which receives the business documents so one company is going to send the business documents and another one will receive and in this process how the edi system works let us understand this one similarly we even identify what are all the components that are involved in the working of edi system so this is the complete picture of a working process of edi system so first and foremost thing is the sending company is having the business documents and all such business documents are there in non edi format so the sending company's documents are there in non edi format 
all such non edi format documents are translated that is they are converted into standard edi format so the sending companies documents which are there in non edi format are now translated that is converted into standard edi format using edi translator then communication software is used to send the edi documents so standard edi documents are ready with the sending company then the sending company sends the business documents using communication software so in order to send the business documents the sending company may make use of either direct link or edi wan network so using one of these two models either direct link or using edi wan network that is value added network van stands for value added network so the communication software may make use of either direct link or van stands for value added network in order to send the edi documents generally companies prefer using edi van network for the purpose of secured transmission of business documents so with this the task of sending company is over now the job is taken over by the receiving company at receiving company here the communication software receives the business documents so receiving company is having a communication software which receives the business documents however all such documents are there in standard edi format and using edi mapper another component of edi system edi mapper which translates standard edi documents into non standard edi format that is required for a receiving company so both the sending company and the receiving company may be having documents in different formats They, they may be using different applications so according to their requirements the documents are arranged so this is the working process of edi system sending company is having the documents in non edi format they are translated and using communication software they were sent to the other company uh, using either direct link or using edi wan network and the communication software at receiving company receives the documents and using edi mapper the documents in standard format are converted into non edi format that is the model of receiving company so if we look at broadly what happens Uh, in case of edi working system there are two companies one is sending company and uh, receiving company what exactly happened in between these two companies first process it is preparing non edi documents so the sending company is having the documents in a non non edi format which are converted that is uh, translated into standard edi format so this is done at the level of sending company then they are transmitted so using communication software the sending company is sending the uh, documents to the receiving company so in this process it is uh, making use of one communication software and communication network also so either using a direct link or either using edi value added network one of these two networks the sending company may send the business documents to the receiving company so once the receiving company receives the documents they remain in standard edi format which are now converted into non edi format that is required for receiving company so in this way 
the ADI works with different components. And along with these things, one thing is really important in between sending company and receiving company. Sending company may be using different business applications which are really different from that of receiving company. So sending company is using one type of business applications and receiving company may be using another type of business applications. So a kind of integration is needed in between sending company and receiving company. So what is the purpose of integrator? So EDA software can integrate with all the business applications of a sending company and a receiving company. That is the novelty. So the novelty here is the EDA software can integrate with the business applications of a sending company and a receiving company. So this is how the EDA system works. Now let us understand the components of EDI system. Just now we looked at the working process of EDI system in which we understood the working of EDI system. Similarly, we even identified different components of EDI system. Let us understand all of them one by one. So if we look at the components of EDI system, Broadly, there are the three major components. First one, it is EDI standards. Second, it is EDI translator. And third one, it is communication software and network. In this way, there are three major components in EDI system. So let us look at all these things one by one. So first major component, it is EDI standards. There are different types of EDI standards that we can adopt. First one, it is ANSI EDI standard. ANSI means American National Standards Institution. They specified a set of standards. And there is another organization that is EDI FACT standard that is specified its own standard EDI fact EDI for administration commerce and transport so in this way there are different types of EDI standards and the business organizations and all the business partners together should accept which type of EDI standards are to be adopted for the development of EDI system so one important uh, component of EDI system is EDI standards which type of uh, EDI standards are to be adopted now let us move on to the second important component which is having sub components also so second important major component it is EDI translation software EDI translation software. The purpose of this one is conversion mapping and integration. So these are the three tasks that are to be performed by this one. What does it mean conversion? Conversion means the business organization may be having the business documents in non-EDI format. Such non-EDI documents are converted into EDI format using this process that is known as the data conversion. Second, it is mapping. This is a reverse of conversion. We can say a reverse of conversion. What we did in case of conversion, we converted non-EDA documents into EDA documents. Whereas here in mapping, the standard EDA documents are converted back into non-standard EDA documents at receiving end. 
and third one and very very important one it is integrator receiving company may be having one type of uh, business uh, uh, applications and the receiving company may be having another type of business applications and eda software can integrate with the business applications used by both sending company and receiving company and last component it is communication software and communication network the purpose of communication software is it sends the business documents from one organization to another organization similarly <coughs> it even receives the documents so communication software can send the eda documents similarly the communication software can receive the business documents but in standard eda format and in between sending company and receiving company there lies one network that is known as communication network in between sending company and receiving company there may be a direct link or maybe van stands for value added network which is generally used for having a better security so in this way there lies a communication network between a sending company and a receiving company so these are all the major components of edi first one it is edi standards different types of edi standards are available like ansi edi standard that is american national standards institution standard and another one is edi fact standard that is edi for administration commerce and transport so in this way different types of standards are available among them which one is to be chosen so that should be decided by the business organization and all the business partners together and the next one it is a translator which is having three major components one is converter so the sending company converts the uh, documents non standard documents into standard edi documents that is a converter and at the receiving side the mapper which translates standard edi documents into non standard edi format and the last one it is the integrator that is the edi software should integrate with the business applications of both the sending company and receiving company that is that task is achieved using integrator and the last last component it is communication software which sends uh, standard edi documents to another company and another company receives the standard eda documents using the communication software and in between sending company and the receiving company there lies a network which can be either direct link or maybe uh, edi wan that is edi value added network that is generally used for security purposes so these are all the important components of edi